Hi guys, another look at another range of kits we've just got back in. Uh, this is from the Hobby 2000 series. Now these kits are not new kits, they're uh, other people's brands, but these guys redeckle them, rebox them, put out some new markings for them, things like that. They use a lot of uh, Hasegawa, Dragon, and um, Fujimi kits. So uh, I'm not gonna go into each kit and tell you why it's such a good kit or whatever because simply if you already know the kit I'll just say that this is the expert Jimmy whatever and you'll know what to expect so let's start off firstly from them in 70 second scale this is the D with 520 I believe that's the Hasegawa kit um, yeah nice kit goes together well hasn't been around for a while as far as I know from Hasegawa so if you're chasing a French aircraft, that's pretty cool. They're doing a series of Skyhawks at the moment. These are um, mostly, I think, for Jimmy kits. Um, yeah, I think they're all for Jimmy kits now. Um, so that's the A4C. So you can see that they do a different choices of markings and things like that. So um, if you haven't been able to chase these down for a while, you can get them now in Hobby 2000. We've got quite a few of them. This is the E model. Again, same sort of same sort of deal. Quite, quite nice. I really the Fujimi kits of the Hasse, of the Skyhawks is really, really nice. Um, two more from them. This is the A4M. Again, Fujimi kit, I believe. So um, bigger box for some reason. I'm not sure why. I think there might be a bit more in it. So that's quite nice. And this is the first of their two seaters. This is the uh, OA4M um, Skyhawk. So in 70 seconds, scale. So you can see this choices of markings, things like that. So, very, very nice. Um, again, if you're chasing Skyhawks in 70 second scale, very, very good. We've also done a series of Arados in 70 second scale. These are, I believe, the Dragon Kit. So, um, I believe these kits took a little bit more work to get them together well, but um, for these versions, you just can't get in 70 second scale. So, these haven't been out for quite some time. I believe Dragon was talking about re-releasing uh, one of them recently, but I haven't seen it come back out. So if you're chasing 70 second scale Arado 234s, this is a series of them. So that's the first Jets. Uh, this one is a C model. So that was a B before. This is a C model with the pressurized cabin uh, and the Julia bomb. So you end up with two kits in, the, or Julia weapon. So you uh, end up with two kits in there. So that's quite nice. What else we got? This one is the C with the bomb torpedo. Um, just different variant. And this one is the end of war B2. So this has got the bigger bomb underneath and everything else. All, all in 70 second scale. So um, the, as I said, the Dragon kits were quite nice to build. Just a little bit of uh, modeling skill required. So there you go. Um, also from Dragon, reboxed, they've done a series of P38s. So these are all in 70 second scale. I know they're big boxes, but they're all 70 second scale. Uh, this is a P38J in the silver scheme, Pacific, 1944. Uh, this is a P38M, so um, that's quite nice. Uh, again, Dragon kit, so 70 second scale. This is P38J Lightning in Europe, 1944. So you've got the camouflage scheme uh, with the invasion stripes and everything else. That's pretty cool. Um, then also from them, we've got the Heinkel 111. This is Hasegawa's kit, uh, reboxed again. So very, very nice. The, um, the Hasegawa kit was really, really lovely in 70 seconds, scale. So if you're chasing up some more new Heinkels and things like that, Grab hold of this one. This one's from Eastern Front, 1941. So, very, very cool. So that's good. Okay, in 48 scale, we've got two Henschel uh, HS129Bs. Uh, I haven't seen these from Hasegawa for some time. So it's the Hasegawa kit, 48 scale. You've got the B2 North Africa, and you've got the B2 Eastern Front. So it's literally just a change of markings for the same aircraft. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the big cannon armed one, but um, uh, with a long cannon on it. But uh, look, again, the Hasegawa kit was a really nice kit. A uh, number of people uh, said that it was uh, very nice to build. I've never built one myself, so I can't guarantee that it is, but the people I talk to, I'm pretty sure they know what they're talking about. So uh, those two have come in. Last but not least, some 30 second scale Spitfires. These are from Hobby 2000, but it's the new Ravel 
Spitfire included in the kit. This is the 2A, so uh, quite nice. I believe it comes with two choices of markings, as you can see. So that's quite nice. So there you go, so there's, there's that one. We've also got a Spitfire 5A with some very famous markings on it. If you know what DB stands for, you know who it is. I'll let you check it out if you don't. So that's also come in. Again, still the Revell kit, really, really nice. Uh, again, choices of markings on the side. Uh, RFP and FJK I believe something like that so there's that so that's pretty cool and last but not least you get another Spitfire Mark 1A um, very very nice kit done nicely again so you've got plenty of choices of markings uh, oh well sorry you got at least two choices of markings in each kit uh, if you're just looking for that Revell kit again and different markings then you've got the choice of these as well so I'll leave you with it for today. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Have fun. Bye.